Yeah. Got a little something to tell ya. I was going out to the house here after breakfast, and uh, there's a favorite little place down here where the officer of the law likes to sit there. <laughs> you know, the highway going by here, and uh, I'm, I, I, I kind of know the cops. Nah, no, don't, don't even go there. No, I'm a friend of theirs, and. They ask me for help sometimes and knock on the door in the middle of the night. Hey, county, county sheriff's going to give us a hand out here. We need some lighting or bring a tractor out or something like that. And, okay, okay. But anyway, I was walking out of the house and I see him sitting down there. I wave to him. He waves back. And uh, just then, uh, a car drives in here and... Uh, he says, hey, uh, for a couple bucks, you need somebody to help you today? I said, no, really, uh, everything's done. I'm just doing chores, and I can handle that. But thanks for asking. And uh, he says, no, I really need a couple bucks. I said, well, sorry, I can't help you. Yeah, he says, no, I really need a couple bucks. And I see the officer down there across the road, and I took my head off, threw it down, and continued talking with this fella. And uh, I see the sheriff's deputy pull his cruiser out, and he comes up quiet and slow. I'm talking to this guy, he says, I need some money. I says, I need money too. I says, uh, how about, how would you like to talk with a police officer? He says, you're not going to get a chance to call him. I, he says, I don't have to. Guy grabbed him on the shoulder. Is Ronnie boy, is this uh, some kind of problem you got here? I said, well, I thought it was handling it okay. Is, is this person bothering you? Well, he needs some money. And I bet he does. Is he bothering you? Yes, he's bothering me. Okay, mister. Do I have the right to search your car? Would, would, would I have permission to search your car? He says, no, you can't search my car, not without a warrant. I can search you. You're harassing a citizen of this community. I can search you. And he searched him. Ooh, a little marijuana. <laughs> he says, Now I have the right to search your car. And he found guns and cocaine and everything. <laughs> now he was the, the, the gentleman who stopped in to see me and asked for money was going to rob me. Maybe shoot me. But uh ain't gonna now. Thanks, my friend. <laughs> no, like I said, I walked out of the house and I seen the officer of the law, cop. <laughs> and I waved to him, he waved back, but I took my hat off and threw it on the ground. He thought he better get over here. That's not something Ronnie Boy does. I don't take my cap off too often. That's why. <laughs> but I, I'm thankful. They often sit over here. I don't know if it's to watch me or protect me or <laughs> uh, set up a speed trap. I don't know. But I'm glad he was there today. And he knew it was something that Ronnie Boy doesn't generally do. So he came over nice and quiet and got the guy.
<laughs> He's in the clink. He's in the <laughs> Okay. I, I, I just have to share that with you because it made me feel good that uh, even when I'm not watching, the police are. Thank you for watching my show, Ronnie Boy Show. You ain't gonna be too easy here.